hello guys welcome back to my channel once again so this video is the completion of our corset pattern that we drafted earlier on so we are going to be we are going to be using this fabric to construct the corset and it's going to have strap and uh, lace off at the back so i'm going to make alterations at the pattern the back panel of the pattern then cut it out the back panel pattern so this is the zip allowance then from this main line from this main line i'm going to subtract one and a half is somewhere here remember one and a half plus one and a half or one and a half times two will give us three so i'm going to use one and a half so i'm going to use one and a half for it so since since i have measured out one and a half i'm going to use my straight ruler to connect so i will not alter this main I will not alter it in case if I want to make another. The only thing I have to do is when cutting. Remember, I didn't add seam allowance to it. When cutting, I will fold like so, then cut out. There is no space here. I didn't give any space to this because it's going to be on fold. It's going to be on fold, and remember our label. This is label times one, this is times two, times two, the other is times two also. So since I'm done pinning, I'm going to start cutting. And also remember that we have added our necessary seam allowances, except the one that we altered. So I have added the half inch here. So for the cup, I'm going to measure the largest. Please don't press so eight and a half inches is what I have here. So for the length, I have a, let me just call it six six and a half, eight and a half in width, then six and a half in length. So from here to here is six and a half piece is supposed to be here i added i added extra two and uh, 0.75 inches to it so i'm going to make a straight line so from this straight line i add eight is our width so eight plus two eight and a half plus two which will give us the uh, ten and a half sorry so I'm going to add ten and half. I'm going to mark out my ten and half like so. Then I will place a rule. So this is for the two sides. This is for the two sides. So for this, I'm going to divide into two. So this is what we are going to use to close our breast part. So guys, I have my straps. I used two inches for the width of this loop. I used my stretch ruler to measure it out. The width of this stretch ruler, which is two inches, that's what I used to measure it out. So I'm also true with cutting out the linings of this whole thing so i'm through cutting out the linings so i'm going to go to the sewing machine and then sew one and two will come together so i'm going to remove my pattern open this then start placing the remember is half inch same allowance that we added
So this is our front panel, you can see. So the next thing for me is to take one bias that I cut out before. Then here I'm going to determine the, the center. If you are going to pipe the center, you have to determine the center also. You notch, then come down here and also notch. I didn't cut out I didn't cut out the, the center so after sewing at the one side one side please flip up why sewing Be, remember your remember your boning and check if your boning can enter So see another thing to determine, since here is 0 point, not even up to 0 0.25, so I'm going to make sure that what I have on the other side is the same thing. Very, very important. So depending on how you want your, how wide you want your piping to be. Depending on how wide you want your piping to be, always note that so I decided to design mine like so. So guys, I'm done pinning, so the next is for me to start sewing it all through. Okay, see how mine is looking so super cute and neat. The next thing for me to do is our cup. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place this like so. And make sure that the down part is also flat. So I'm going to pin. Also going to pin here. I'm also going to pin this side. So once I'm done pinning, I want mine. You can decide how you want to fold your down part. Is it left or right? So I'm going to fold mine like so. So I'm going to make sure that I gather every. So make sure you gather every piece, gather it all. So 
so you can see there is space here so once you gather it you pin so the next step is i'm going to sew this like so i'm going to sew at this stitch line because stitching you can as well turn yours so that you will know where to stitch and where not to stitch but if you are stitching remember your pins going to trim out so you can see how this looks like I'm going to trim out here then show you guys so guys I'm through um, coupling or dressing the pad the what's it called the red made pad you can see there is no space and my pad didn't fold like this it came out nice and neat so the next thing for me is to start do you see here where this place matches so make sure that it also matches here it also matches so whatever you did here make sure you repeat the same process here also So since I'm done trimming out, the next thing for me to do is to iron. Then after ironing, after ironing, I will add my after ironing my corsets, my rope, and then my loop, which I tied separately. The next for me to do is to start coupling the back panel. So I'm going to start with the main fabric, and I'm using half inch to stitch the two sides together so after this is where I'm measuring out the length of my loops and I'm going to use 2.5 inches for the loop length and I'm making sure that the loop length or the loop lengths are equal so in this video I ended up cutting out 10 pieces of the loop divide by two which is five on the other side and five on the other side so i'm going to measure where i want the loop to start and i'm using half inch for it at the upper side i'm going to also use half inch at the downside where the loop will stop i'm going to repeat the same procedure at the other side of the back panel so i'm fixing my loop and positioning it how i want it to be so i'm going to start with that half inch that i marked out at the upper side and i'm making sure there is no space because i don't want my back to open and i'm also going to i'm going to stop at that half inch i marked out at the down part i'm going to repeat the same procedure that i did here at the other side of the back panel So this is how the back panel is looking and how it's supposed to look like. Hola! So these are my panels. 
the next is the lining so here you can see that i have lined one side of the corset and it's looking so super cool you will not see the stitch the stitches so here i'm going to flip the other side i have not stitched before so i'm going to flip it up then make sure that i i line the lining and the main fabric together so here i'm matching up the stitch lines so i'm going to pin it together the lining and the main fabric including the cup so when stitching make sure you didn't stitch above the stitch the already stitched line or below the already stitched line so now i'm going to start stitching and make sure that my stitches are straight and also they are neat most importantly so i have attached my loops or my rope together so this is the lining so the next thing for me to do is to start joining the lining for front and back panel together using 0 0.5 inch which is half inch for it so i'm going to repeat the same procedure on the other side so after i'm also going to join the back and the front lining the back and the front fabric using 0 0.5 inches also on both sides so after this is how my corset is looking and it remains the upper and the down part of this corset so here in this video i used half inch to couple the folding side or the down part of it so i'm going to start sewing at the loop side because the loop side is still open and i'm using half inch on both the loop side and on the down part or the folding part of this corset so i'm making sure that i put everything inside including the cup and the rope so that i will not stitch any of them together making my work to be difficult so here i'm turning the inner so i'm what's it called i'm bringing out the right sides out so this is how my corset is looking this is the right side and the lining is the wrong side so this is how it looks like so the remaining part is the upper part of this but firstly i'm going to stitch the main fabric and the lining together then after stitching it to make it equal i'm going to use my bias please use black bias or any matching color of bias to couple or to finish your corset i don't have black that's why i'm using this yellow color just to show you guys how you can also use your bias to finish up your corset like i said i don't have black bias that's why i'm using this yellow colored bias so Hola, I'm done and this is how our corset is looking cool, right? Mwah.